<laughs> Hello, everybody. My name is Devil D, and welcome to the first episode of my uh, Hogwarts Legacy uh, playthrough. Uh, I just got this. Uh, well, I got the deluxe pre-order, so I got the game early. Um, I am extremely excited for this game. I'm actually a big fan of Harry Potter in general. I think me and my mom actually watch it maybe the entire series maybe once or twice a year. We're that... <laughs> yeah, we're that uh, into Harry Potter. Uh, my favorite Harry Potter is actually, uh, I believe, the Half-Blood Prince, Half Prince. My mother's uh, favorite Harry Potter is uh, Goblet of the Fire. Yeah, yep, yep. Uh, but yeah, we are pleased to inform you that you have been accepted at Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry as a fifth year student. Term begins on the 1st of September. Primary supplies have been collected for you and will accompany you on your journey to the castle. As you may be aware, the decree for the reasonable restriction of underage sorcery prohibits the use of magic for those under the age of 17 outside school. However, to your unique circumstances, circumstances, the ministry has graciously agreed to allow Professor Elazar Fig Elazar, I believe that's how you pronounce it. To help you hone your spell casting before escorting you to London. Hmm. Escorting you from London to the castle for the start of term feasts and sword ceremony. Professor Wesley W. <laughs> Wait, so the Weas the Weasleys are a deputy headmaster? All right. What are we looking at here with uh, character creation? That's a woman. I don't think I sound like a woman. Or do I? <laughs> no. Honestly, I want to make an evil wizard. I am going... I love the... Ooh. Uh, you got freckles. No, thank you, shark face. I want someone that kind of looks like Tom Riddle when he was a kid. You would do. That's a woman's face. Or he's just Asian. Skin color. Yeah, a little bit of a tan. Not a lot. Now, no glasses. I don't know. What does uh, Tom Riddle looks like? I guess he had that little uh, pearl puff thing going for him. Kind of like that. But his hair was more like this.
freckles and moles. No freckles, please. Complexion. Oh, that's cool. Oh, it does not uh, track your mouse. Eye color. Yes, please. Eyebrow color. Eh, no. <laughs> Just have no eyebrows. I like that. I'm eager to get to Hogsmeade. It was wonderful. I believe I'm really going to enjoy this class. That was quite something. A few cobwebs and some dust. I'm eager to get to Hogsmeade. I am indeed a student, but I could very well be able to help you. Why does it sound like multiple? It was wonderful. I... A few cobwebs and some dust. Nothing to be concerned about. What's going on with the voice? Why does it sound robotic? I'm eager to get to Hogsmeade. <laughs> I am indeed a student, but I could very well be able to help you. It was wonderful. I believe I'm really going to enjoy this class. That was quite something. I'm eager to get to Hogsmeade. They were a wizard, of course. Normal. A balanced gameplay challenge. Not gonna go hard. I might go hard if there's a new game plus. And honestly, I hope there is. I am indeed a student, but I could very well be able to help you. First name. Devil Day Day. <laughs> Name have inter contact. Devil Day Day. What? I couldn't use devil as a word? It appears we are almost ready to depart. It's a pity we didn't have a bit more time to spend on spell casting. I presume you've been practicing the spells we worked on. I have, Professor. Well, I'm quite sure I've never seen anyone take so quickly to a second-hand wand. You'll be a force to be reckoned with when you get your own. Thank you, Professor Fig. I appreciate you working with me all the time. Who the hell are you? Oh, <laughs> Eliasar. George, glad my rather cryptic description of our location did not thwart your finding us. I've apparated to more vaguely defined destinations than this. <laughs> Though I confess I may have miscalculated slightly on my first try. <laughs> Gave quite the fright to some theatergoers in the West End. <laughs> it's been much too long. When I received your owl, I must uh, say I... Best not speak here, Eleazar. Mm. Of course. Why don't we speak en route to Hogwarts? We had a start of term feast and a sorting ceremony to get to. Wonderful idea. As long as your young charge here doesn't mind me tagging along. Not at all, sir. After you. Ages since I've been to the castle. Would be good to see the old pile of rocks.
Chris Horn's dead. Ah, we don't need horses for where we're going. <laughs> oh, the wings so long! Avalanche! More key games in Wizarding World. Don't forget the TM. Companion. A new student. New? Yes, sir. I'm starting school as a fifth year. How extraordinary. It is indeed. None of the faculty has ever heard of anyone being admitted to Hogwarts so late. Nor have I. Of course, as the other fifth years will have been honing their magical skills for four years now, the headmaster asked if I could get our new student up to speed a bit before the term begins. Well... You couldn't have asked for a better mentor. Professor Fig is not only an exceptional teacher, he's also a remarkably intuitive and gifted wizard. Mr. Osric is prone to flattery. I dare say it's one of the reasons he's risen so far at the Ministry. <laughs> have you seen this? I have. Opinions differ as to how great a threat Ranrock really is. Although I've yet to convince my colleagues at the Ministry, I believe he is a significant threat. And it was your wife, Eleazar, who alerted me to his activities months ago. Miriam? How? <sighs> she wrote to me about Ranrock before she died, wondering what the Ministry knew about his activities. Before I could respond, I received this. It was the last thing she sent me, Eleazar. It came to me via her owl. But with no correspondence, I can only assume that she had to get rid of it quickly to keep it safe. Presumably from Ranrock. I cannot open it. Whatever magic protects this is powerful indeed. It looks like goblin metal. That symbol. What's that glow? I don't see a glow. Nor do I. Merlin's beard. H how did you wait? We did. Dragon. the horses a bit. Take this. It's Wigan World Potion. That stuff will write you in a second. Press she to heal. What happened? Poor George. I can't believe he... What the hell got into that damn thing? 
Attacking a carriage mid-air? A typical dragon would never... Professor? <sighs> Sir, where are we? I'm not sure. But that key you discovered was clearly a port key. Port key? An item enchanted to bring whoever touches it to a specific place. I'm feeling better, sir, if you'd like to look around a bit. I would. But stay close. We've no idea who created this port key. Or why. And the lion. And the lions everywhere. How far did that port key take us? Farther from London than the carriage traveled. We're somewhere in the Scottish Highlands. Sir, those ruins. Do you think? I do. This has not been the day either of us expected. But Miriam sent that port key to George for a reason. And I believe that she, and now George, died in pursuit of whatever it was meant to lead to. If you're sure you're all right and wouldn't mind indulging me, I'd like to have a look around. Absolutely, sir. Good. Let's see if we can find a path, however faded it may be. Mind your step. Where do you suppose your wife got the port key that brought us here? A good question. Miriam spent years searching for evidence of a long forgotten form of ancient magic. Ancient magic? Yes. A powerful magic wielded by a rare few that seems to have been lost to time. Hogwarts Castle was built by, and is itself a strong magic. I don't know where she came into possession of the but I am certain it was to do with that search. <laughs> ah, there's the path down below. This way. But sir, why was your wife searching for evidence of lost magic? Miriam wanted to understand why such powerful magic disappeared from the wizarding world. Spoke of the good it could do. But magic is no different than any power. What really matters is the one who wields it. Don't worry, Professor. Is I'm going nice? to wield it the it's very responsibly. <laughs> it appears to be a sort of enchantment. Someone wanted to block this path. Let's see some of that wand work you were practicing. Focus on the center. Oh. Sorry, I had to fix something on my uh, recording. Use a camera to select and target. That was a bit rougher than I'd expected. You're cast. Thank you, sir. What's this way? You can't just go one way and not leave the other one. See? I would have missed 43 coins. Don't you ever do that again, Professor. We're close now. It's just ahead. <laughs>
This game looks beautiful. Oh, yeah, I can't hit the seagulls. for anything that seems out of place. The main map shows your surrounds with the uh, purple arrow button in the middle. This is your current. Uh, Sorry, my uh, alarm was going off. Ooh, Professor, it's a mural of some kind. Hmm, perhaps our host was a noted seer. Interesting. <laughs> Professor, this statue. Hey, it looks like Merlin. stone again but what could it be blocking what's this professor fig how odd why would someone have conjured that enchanted stone here and how is there a room behind it what room? I don't see anything. There's that glow again, like the glow on the port key container. Godric's heart. Where are we? I don't believe it. Hello? Is this the goblin, uh... <clears throat> yeah, it's a goblin banker. <clears throat> I totally did not just read that. <laughs> it can't be. Uh, just a moment. <laughs> Visiting back. Vault number 12, I presume. <laughs> Precisely. The key? Mm -hmm. The white port key. Oh, yes, of course. This way, then. Stay close. <laughs> How 
How many votes are there? Votes? Hundreds. In fact, you'll see quite a few on our way to vote number 12. As we speak, we're just beneath the main lobby. The votes you see now are the newest. Are private entrances to the bank common at Gringotts? They are most uncommon. Only one with great wealth or power, or both, could have arranged for such a service. You want to take a breath? A what? That waterfall washes away all enchantments. It's a security measure. Experienced the thief's downfall before, have you? Heard of it? These are the lower vaults that we're passing now. How deep are we going? Vault number 12 was commissioned shortly after Gringotts was founded over four centuries ago. It resides in the deepest part of the bank. Settle in. We've quite a distance to go. That goblin's a little too cheery. I've never seen the cheery goblin. Professor, hmm? the armband that guard was wearing was glowing. Like the glow you saw on the porky container? No, darker. I saw that same glow on the dragon's collar. Yeah, what was that? We were just wondering about that goblin back there. He watches over the oldest section of the bank. Rare anyone goes there anymore. Here we are. When was the last time this vault was accessed? A goblin has been stationed at my desk for hundreds of years. In that time, no one has visited Vault 12. Until today. What do you suppose we should be looking for? I'm not sure. Sir, I wonder if you might... The instructions for Vault 12 indicate that I am to grant access to the holder of the key and then close the door. Wait! Best of luck. <sighs> Professor? That was certainly unexpected. Let me think. There must be something here. Revelio, perhaps. Revelio? Yes, a revealing charm. No time like the present. Let's see what we're missing, shall we? Ready your wand and focus. No! Leave me alone. That's a start. There's that symbol again. I don't suppose you see a way to... I do, Professor. That symbol has the same glow as the one I saw on the port key container. If what you can see reveals the way forward, then I dare say we yes. are about to discover the Rebellion. secret of this vault. <laughs> Lead the way. Lumos. 
vault. I suspect earn our way out of here. What do you mean, earn our way out? Do you think this is some sort of test? I do. But to what end, I can't say. Stay close. There will be no disapparating if things go poorly. Not out of Gringotts. Catacombs? Ooh. I see something up ahead. What is it? That glow again, but on the floor. What happened? When I moved towards the glow, it suddenly seemed as if the ground was swirling about. Are you all right? Yes, sir. I'm fine. You seem to have caused the floor to change. That statue? What statue? I see some sort of statue, but only as a reflection in the floor. Revelio. I presume this is what you saw reflected in... It is. The reflection's still there, but the statue's positions don't match. Wait. When you moved, the reflection turned in the direction of the light. Hmm. Perhaps you should cast Lumos. I like that. A mini game to learn the different spells. Lumos. Well done. Now the reflection is turning towards me. It does follow the light. <laughs> Look out! Protego! Accio! Defendo! Levioso! Deposo! Deposo! I gotta press Q whenever they come up, did me. Got it. Oh, Dot, you're after me. There's chests over Stay here. Close. But I want I want chests. Professor! Professor Fig! Professor, where are you? This isn't good. Where am I supposed to go? Lumos, what's happening? The wisps of magic seem to be leading me somewhere. Yeah, to the chest. Revelio. Lumos. Ah, that's Oh, where I can't leading. go over there. I, I can't go over there. I got Revelio. Lumos. I gotta make sure I'm not missing anything. Protego! 
Lumos. Revelio. I suppose I'm on my own this time. It seems I have no choice. I'm going to have to fight my way out of it. Stupid one. I will exterminate all of you. I'm like a Dalek right now. Anything cool around me? Lumos. Rebellion. Lumos, Revelio. What's this over here? Lumos. Fine, I'll go through. Floating above that basin. That is no mere basin. That is a pensive for viewing memories. I wonder. Follow my lead. The poor key is well hidden. Perhaps too well. I wonder if the path we've created may be impossible to follow. It will only be impossible for one who cannot see traces of ancient magic as I can. Your ability to see what others cannot will not be enough, Percival. We are entrusting the one who embarks on this path with powerful secrets, with knowledge others will do anything to obtain. Yes. And if we are correct, Charles, the ritual wizard who completes the trials will have proven themselves worthy of that knowledge and the responsibility that accompanies it. We've done all that we can. That's what you're seeing. The glow that surrounded them. Yes, sir. 
astonishing. Can I see magic? Traces of an ancient magic, to be precise. The magic that Miriam had always believed existed, but could never. Miriam, and perhaps George, died in pursuit of knowledge that has been dormant for centuries. And you, it seems, are the key to understanding why. We would it all looks rather different than it did a moment ago. <laughs> Someone's coming. Who were they? I don't know. But, sir, you shouldn't be in here. I was right. Ranrock. Seems my reputation precedes me. I was beginning to think no one was ever going to visit Rackham's Vault. And why are you here? No need for that. Just give me whatever it is you found here and we can let bygones be bygones. <coughs> uh, sir, they have the key to the vault. <laughs> Choose your next words wisely. I... I only meant that the instructions to Vault 12 were quite clear. Sir, I, I must insist. I was to grant access only to one with the key, and you didn't have a book. I have no patience for traitors. <laughs> no. I like this goblin. Where were we? I'm not giving you anything. Well, perhaps your young friend here will be more helpful. Are you all right? Fine, sir. I've never seen so powerful a goblin. He seemed wholly unaffected by my magic. Where are we? <laughs> it can't be. It seems those who set up the pensive, the locket, and the path to both wanted someone with your ability to end up here. Come. We have a sorting ceremony to get to. Hehehehehehehe <laughs> 
Good. We haven't missed the sorting ceremony. I'm no expert, but that seems more appropriate. Now, I need to study this locket as soon as I can, but first I must contact the Ministry. They need to know what happened to George and be warned of Ranrock. For the moment, I ask that you keep all that's happened this evening between you and me. Of course, sir. Thank you. Ready for the sorting ceremony? Phineas, Nigellus, Black. Prepare yourself to meet the Headmaster. Fig, nice of you to join us. The sorting ceremony is over. There were complications. Complications? It seems the goblin Enough. problem has... Goblins. I've no time for rumors, Fig, and I'm rapidly losing whatever patience I had left. If you're lucky, we might still be able to get you sorted this evening. <clears throat> I'll be in touch. There aren't a lot of students in here. Professor Weasley, we've one more to be sorted. Welcome. You're just in time. Have a seat. Ah, yes. A bit older than the others, aren't you? You come here with preferences and preconceptions. Certain expectations. I can't wait to explore. I can't wait to start classes. I'm looking forward to exploring Hogwarts and the world beyond the castle and grounds. Mm. Indeed. Much can be gleaned by having an adventurous spirit. But your professors have a great deal to teach you as well. Hmm. I wonder. Hmm. I detect something in you. A certain sense of... Hmm. What is it? Ambition. Is it ambition? I may seem single-minded, but it is important to go after what you want from life. Hmm, interesting. You've recently learned that you possess a rare ability. I detect a growing sense of ambition, an eagerness for power. Perhaps you belong in Slytherin. what I want yep 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 I'm going with Slytherin come you on guys Slytherin. And one more thing. Due to the unfortunate injury on the pitch in last spring's final, this year's Quidditch season has been cancelled. Enough! It's not as though I've banned flying altogether. But don't tempt me. <laughs> you are here to focus on your academic futures. I'm sure you will have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. 
I said, I'm sure you all have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. Quite an entrance. It's lovely to meet you. I'm... Professor Weasley, would you be so kind as to show our new student to their common room? I shall see to it, sir. As I was saying, I'm Professor Weasley. Pleased to meet you. Nice to meet you as well, Professor. As Deputy Headmistress, it is my distinct honor to show you to your common room. Right this way. It's quite uncommon for a student to begin as a fifth year. It may be a bit of a challenge, but one I'm sure you're up for. I can be quite resourceful. I suspected as much. This is the entrance to the Slytherin common room. In order to enter, one must simply speak the correct password. Aspiration. Very well. Aspiration. Oh, that's so cool. Well done. Now, go on in and get some sleep. You have a big day ahead of you tomorrow. I shall be back in the morning to collect you for your first class. Thank you, Professor Weasley. You're welcome. I hope you enjoy your first night at Hogwarts. Sleep well. Looks like everyone's gone. Better head to the common room. Rebellion. Is there any collectibles in here? Yeah, that uh, was a little bit. Uh, yeah, the interest ceremony. I wonder what's in here. Is it all just. Okay, okay. The entrance ceremony had some FPS issues for like a minute or two there. I suppose some introductions are in order. Rebellion. Well, no. The Bastion Swallow. Can I help you? You're the new fifth year. I'm Sebastian Sallow. Welcome to Slytherin. Thank you. Not everyone has a ministry escort to school. He was a friend of Professor Figgs, who merely joined us for the ride. Still, impressive. Dreadful way to go, poor fellow. Glad you and Fig are all right. It was a sign. It was terrifying. Huh? No, you look pretty excited. It was dreadful, certainly, but quite an experience nonetheless interesting perspective how did you and fig manage to escape it's all still a bit of a blur to be honest didn't mean to press you just get yourself settled we can talk more later what well, were you reading what book were you reading a spell book i picked up has a few interesting things but not exactly what i was looking for i'm sure you'll find out soon enough but not every spell you may need can be found in our assigned textbooks. I know what you mean, but I'm going to ask you to clarify what you mean. Are you saying some spells aren't taught at Hogwarts? Which ones? Seems I may have met a kindred spirit. <laughs> that is a conversation for another time. It was good meeting you. Good luck today. Revelio. That again. <laughs> Ugh, not going to move there, are you? Here, watch this. Don't say I didn't warn you. Told you. You should have listened to me. Ah, oh, I know who you are. 
You're the new Slytherin, the one who barged in with Professor Fig last night. Interesting tactic on your first day, taking all the attention away from the first years. I'm Amelda, by the way. Shame I wasn't with you and Fig. I could have lured that dragon away. My skills in a broom are legendary. I wish you had been there. <laughs> Perhaps Professor Fig's friend would have survived if we'd had your help. Precisely. Perhaps one of these days I'll show you a thing or two about flying. I can teach you more than Kagawa ever could. Speaking of which, I'd like to get in some time on my broom before classes. Do you fly a lot? Do you have a lot of time to fly during school? I make the time. There's nothing like swerving through the spires of the castle and around the Quidditch pitch to clear the mind. Are you a keen Wizard Chess fan? You knew that boy was going to lose the match. Not really. Much too sedate a pastime for me. Also, it's simply not that challenging. The moves are always so obvious. Why does no one else see it? Goodbye, Amelda. Nice meeting you. She looks like a no, though. <laughs> I think I heard one. <laughs> Doubt mermaids find us that interesting. Ah, based on all the chatter when you entered the common room, I'm guessing you're the new fifth year. I'm Ominous. Ominous Gaunt. Nice to meet you, Ominous. Well, you certainly had a memorable arrival. I don't like how you're not looking at me. <laughs> well, if I'm going to make my mark here, I had to start right away. <laughs> You're definitely in the right house. Do let me know if I can be of any help as you navigate your first days here, though I doubt you'll need it. Do mermaids often peer? Did that student say he thought he heard a mermaid? <laughs> yes, but I've never heard of a mermaid showing up outside our common room window. It is fun to play along, though. Been known to keep some first years on the lookout for hours. Were you expecting to be sorted into Slytherin? Most certainly. My family on my father's side are direct descendants of Salazar Slytherin, one of the four founders of Hogwarts. Not something I'm especially proud of, mind you. He was obsessed with blood status, a pure blood maniac. Unfortunately, most of his descendants do not fall far from that tree. I don't like how he does look at you. Very ominous. Ominous. But he's probably autistic. <laughs> Thank you, Ominous. Very nice to meet you. Pleasure was all mine. Don't be a stranger. Is the new fifth year Slytherin in here? Professor Weasley's waiting for you just by the stairs. morning. I trust you're ready for your first day at Hogwarts? I've been dreaming of this day for a long time. Can't believe I'm here. Well, you are here. Make the most of it. You only have one first day at Hogwarts. Now, in light of your unique situation, joining us as a fifth year, you'll need to catch up with your classmates and not fall behind. Especially as you'll be expected to complete your OWLs at the end of the year. OWLs? Owls? Yes, your ordinary wizarding level exams. They will determine what type of career you can have when you leave here. After much discussion with the headmaster and the Department of Magical Education at the Ministry, we've devised something extraordinary to ensure your success. Here you are. What is it? It is a wizard's field guide. It will help you to keep track of what you are learning so that you master all that's expected of a fifth year. You would be wise to take full advantage of this exceptionally valuable resource. Thank you, Professor, but 
What do you mean it will keep track of what I'm learning? Perhaps seeing it in action will answer any questions you may have. Walk with me and we shall put it to the test. This way. I want to see what this is. I certainly would have appreciated something like the field guide when I was a student. Using the guide will also train you to be alert to your surroundings. The guide will give you opportunities to practice your magic and educate yourself about wizarding lore. Do keep up. Don't you cast Revelio on that Revelio. Subject and see what details the field guide can provide. The Kelpie statue, guide attached. Demon native to Ireland and Great Britain. Jude takes form of log bearing Taurus. The Kelpie was a lock this monster in Scotland. Field guides challenges are the only way to acquire experience points or XP. for more opportunities like that inside and outside of the castle. Revelio. Ooh, chest. timing perfect opportunity to show you how to use flu flames to get around a bit quicker your field guide contains a map of the castle open it up and find central hall So there's a fast travel system in this game. And here we are, quite the time saver. These lead directly to Central Hall. You can get almost anywhere in the castle quickly from Central Hall. Always something happening here. It's the heart of the hive. Our King's Cross Station, so to speak. That, that should be all for now. You'll be expected to attend both Charms and Defense Against the Dark Arts classes today. And I'd like to be sure you get to Hogsmeade as soon as possible to replace the supplies you lost on the way here. Uh, can you tell me more about Charms class? What will I learn in Charms class? Exactly what you might expect. Spells, charms, jinxes, all terribly useful. I think you will enjoy Professor Ronan. He's a clever and entertaining wizard and a talented teacher. Can you tell me more about the Defense Against the Dark Arts class? Defense Against the Dark Arts, as the name implies, focuses on how to defend oneself against the evils that lurk beyond these walls. A mastery of defense against the dark arts is required for those who aspire to become auras. 
Fortunately, we are lucky to have the ever-gifted Professor Heckert in charge of our students' education in that regard. You mentioned Hogsmeade, Professor. Hogsmeade is the only all-wizarding village in Britain, and is home to an array of shops and pubs. You should be able to find all of the school supplies you require in Hogsmeade. You will also, I imagine, enjoy many a butterbeer there with friends in due course. Thank you, Professor Weasley. A lot to absorb on your first day, and you have much to learn. Happily, your professors have agreed to create additional assignments for you outside of class. You'll be up to speed in no time. Judging by your adept use of Revelio earlier, I'd say Professor Fig succeeded in at least showing you the basics. He did, Professor. He's been terribly vague as to the events preceding your arrival, specifically about what happened after that awful dragon attack. My suspicion is that there's more to the story than a search for belongings and an extended trip up to the castle. <laughs> uh, I'll still not talk about it. I'm sorry, Professor, but I'm afraid that's all there is to it. Hmm. Almost precisely what Professor Fig said. Speak of the devil? Professor Fig. Your ears must have been burning. Oh? Yes. You seem to have provided our new fifth year with a solid foundation in the basics of spellcasting. Ah, I'm afraid I can't take all the credit there, Professor. They've a rare aptitude for magic, it seems. Hmm. Well, I'm just glad you both arrived in one piece. Perfectly good boats and carriages to Hogwarts, and you chose to fly in the path of a dragon. I wouldn't say I chose the dragon's path, Professor. Rather unfortunately, it would seem that it chose us. Very well. Enough chit-chat. I need to get to class myself. Might I rely on you, Professor Fig, to explain the details of the field guide's map? Of course. Thank you. Good luck today. And remember to use your field guide. It will be invaluable to you. And invaluable to me, as I'll be using it to keep up to date on your progress. Yes, Professor. Come and find me in my classroom after you've attended both classes today, and I'll explain more about those assignments I mentioned. And we'll see if we can't get you to Hogsmeade for those supplies. <laughs> Ooh! Essentials, Revelio. It's good to see you, Professor. And you. I was hoping our paths would cross today before you immersed yourself in studies. Did I hear you masterfully evade Professor Weasley's interrogation regarding our late arrival? You did. I did my best, but I'm fairly certain she suspects that we're not being entirely forthcoming. Yes, well, Professor Weasley is a brilliant and astute witch. It was right to keep the details to yourself for now. We don't know where this path we've embarked upon will lead. It may require a bit more flexibility with your time than she would approve of. And she may feel obliged to share details with the headmaster that would be better left between us. Understood, Professor. Good. Now, as capable as you are, I believe the ability you possess obliges you to be well-trained. Happily, you have the benefit of an exceptionally skilled team of witches and wizards to guide you. Speaking of guides, and so that I may avoid another not-so-subtle reproof from Professor Weasley, why don't I show you the clever enchantment we included in the field guide's map? Unfold it and have a look. This represents the main quest, complete main quest for the story. Defends against the dark arts. Levioso Nacio. 
The map is enchanted to help you find your way. This will be incredibly helpful. Thank you. Now, sounds like you've quite a day ahead, what with classes and a trip to Hogsmeade for supplies, including your own wand. You'll enjoy Mr. Ollivander. He's an exceptional craftsman and a good friend. I shall reach out when I have more information about our mysterious locket. For now, focus on your classes and pay attention. More than your owls may hinge on the magic you are able to master within these walls. Oh, I go this way. Revelio. I can't. Oh, uh, I want to shoot it. <laughs> How nice to see you. Revelio. Painting of Elias? Elias? Thought as much. Did you just? Wait. So the stuff talks to you and stuff. Revelio. Well, fuck you too. Revelio. What are you up to now? Brilliant. Only me twice. Let's go to settings. Actually, yeah, let's save the game. I'll be fine. You know, I really want to continue this video, but it's getting pretty long. Uh, I'm going to be ending this video for now. Uh, thank you all for watching. My name is uh, Devil D, and I'll catch you all in the next video. Bye-bye.